Where is it? Where is it? I know these batteries have to be around here somewhere. 3% energy left. I'm not gonna make it. I need to find that battery pack now. I know I left it around here somewhere. No, 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 come on. Screw it. I'm getting out of here. They don't pay me enough for this. Out again. Oh my god, why couldn't I check the cameras? I need to get out of here. What the heck? Why are these doors chained shut? Is anyone here? Hello? No, no. This can't be happening. I've got to get to the control room and lock myself in until the morning reset. I gotta get this door closed. Oh man, I'm almost at zero power. Please have enough left to unlatch the door hinges. Come on, come on, close. Oh, yes, there we go. What was that? What was that sound? Come on, you stupid flashlight work. I just put new batteries in you. Ah, what a beautiful morning. The birds are chirping, the sun is shining, the... The sun is shining?! Oh man, it's Monday! Why did my phone alarm go off? Ah, crap, the battery's dead. Guess I didn't charge it last night. Ah, now I'm gonna be late for work. I really hope Don isn't there. He said if I'm late one more time, he's gonna fire me. Ah, man, no time to shower this morning. I guess I'll just do my hair, put on a little cologne, and change when I get to work. Ah, come on. Stand up, dang it. Ah, whatever. Oh, man, why am I so hungry this morning? Oh, yeah, never mind. I forgot to eat dinner last night. I gotta stop doing that. Let's grab something at work. Hopefully, someone gets their order wrong so I can just throw it out and make them a new one. Why is there a note here? Read me. It's from my landlord, Tim. Your rent is over 12 days late. And this is the third time you've done this. I'm done giving you favors. Either have my rent in hand this Saturday morning by 7 o'clock a.m. or pack your things and get out. Oh, dang, that's a bit harsh. Oh, and since it's so close, make sure to include next month's rent. What? As a sign of good faith. That means I've got five days to come up with $1,200. By the time Mr. Sleeping Beauty wakes up and reads this, I'm sure it'll be nighttime. So in your case, you have five nights. <sighs> Whatever, I'll figure this out later. Now, let's pretend like it blew away and I didn't see this. All right, time to hop in the old truck and head to work. Come on, start. Come on, baby, please start for me. Oh no, out of all days, why are you doing this to me? Ah, screw it, I guess I'm walking. Hey, at least I get a workout in. I think I don't think Don's in yet. I think I left my clothes in the back. I'll just change when I get back there. Well, well, look who decided to grace us with his present. You know Don's gonna have your head for this, right? Not if he doesn't find out. Good luck with that, man. What do you mean? He's in the cooler, taking inventory. 
You better hope you can change without him seeing you. Oh, man. Are you serious? Dang it, I knew he'd be early. Maybe I could still sneak in. Yeah, maybe. Well, I mean, stranger things have happened, right? I guess. Look who it is. Late as usual. Oh, Don, I can explain. I'm sure you can, just like the last ten times. You know, if it wasn't for me being so lenient, you'd have been fired a long time ago. I'm so sorry. My, my phone didn't charge, and that's what I used for my alarm. I swear, this will never, ever happen again. I promise you. I know it won't, because there won't be a next time. You're fired. Fired? What? No! Please, I need this job to pay my rent. I swear, I'll work nights, weekends, anything. Just, just give me one more chance. I'm sorry, man, but it's our new corporate policy. Corporate policy? I've never heard of this before. Well, that's because it's new. How new? New as in, I just made it up, and you're the first. What? Now get out of here Come before on, I call please. the police and have them escort you out. You're right now. You're trespassing. Damn, whatever. There's nothing I can do now. I knew I shouldn't rely on my phone as an alarm. Ah, oh, man, this sucks. I can't believe I lost my job again. And of course, it's literally the worst time ever, because I need to pay my rent. How am I going to come up with $1,200 now without a job? Uh, take a miracle. I am so screwed. I might as well just go home and pack my stuff. Man, I'm going to miss this place. I almost thought this was going to be the last time I'd have to move. What was that? Hello? Tim, is that you? If you're here for your money, I'll have it in your hand on uh, Friday? Uh, at Saturday morning at the latest, I swear. Tim? Hello, is anyone there? Boo! Ah, why did you do that? You know I hate when stuff jumps out at me like that. What are you doing here, anyways? I was gonna ask you the same question. I saw you weren't at work, so I figured I'd stop by. It's a long story. Basically, I lost my job and need to come up with $1,200 by Saturday morning, or my landlord kicks me out. Wait, are you packing? Where are you going? There's no way I could come up with that much money so quickly. So I figured I'd just... Pack up and leave. I mean, what choice do I have? Why don't you go apply at the one kid's party place over on the edge of town? You know the one I'm talking about. It's Frankie's or something. I saw a sign in their window that said they're hiring, and it had multiple dollar signs, so that must mean big money. Are you talking about Freddy's? I don't know if you forgot, but uh, I hate kids. That's the last thing I'd want to do. No, it's a night guard position, so all the kids will be long gone by then. And besides, you stay up all night anyway, so it's perfect for you. And it's not like you'd be doing anything. Who would want to steal those creepy robots anyways? That's true. But I've got no experience being a guard. The only places I've ever worked is, uh, fast food restaurants, really. There's no way they'd ever give me a chance. Hey, well you never know until you try. Just go talk to them and see what they say. I guess it's worth a shot. I mean, what do I really have to lose, right? That's the spirit. Now go get them. This job has you written all over it. Thanks, I really appreciate this. You know, you're always looking out for me. I don't know what I'd do without you. See you later. Well, there it is. Freddy's Pizzeria. I don't see any help wanted signs, though. That's kind of weird. Wonder, uh, maybe they, maybe they already hired someone else. Or they just don't need them anymore. I mean, maybe, maybe I should go home. Ah, whatever. I came all this way, so I should at least go in and make sure. Wow, this place is actually pretty cool looking. Management office. I guess this is the right place. Hello? Should I just, uh, go in? Can I help you? 
Oh, man. Sorry. I, uh, my name is Nick, and I uh, heard about the night guard position that you guys have open. Ah, uh, yes. Glad you saw our sign. I just took it down a few minutes ago because I thought I had somebody lined up. But apparently, they are scared of all the rumors. Rumors? What rumors? Oh, nothing, really. Just some business changes. We recently changed ownership and are now officially owned by Fazbear Entertainment. Everyone is nervous that the big corporation is going to fire everyone and shut us all down due to all the accidents. Accidents? <laughs> like what? Oh, nothing really. You know, kids will be kids. They're always trying to hurt themselves on our animatronics. Animal what the huzz? You've really never heard of us before? That kind of makes me sad. Here, follow me. Those puppet-looking things up there are actually robots. And, uh, basically, they sing and dance for all the children. They are full of moving servos, mechanical plates, beams, wires, and all sorts of stuff like that. Kids look at them as if they're a giant toy, but what they don't realize is that all those moving parts are parts that could easily cut off hands and fingers and, well, anything else that just gets in the way. Wow, that sounds disturbing. Can't you just put something up that stops kids from getting to them? Oh, we've tried that before, but then some people started complaining about how their view was obstructed and that they'd paid all this money to see them. I guess I'd be mad too if I paid to see some puppets and actually couldn't see them. Don't call them puppets. Puppets implies that they're controlled. These robots are programmed to interact with children and learn from them. They are far more advanced than puppets. Hey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. Or them. Or, well, you know. Yes, I know what you mean. So, if these things are so dangerous, isn't it a bad idea to allow them to roam around freely? I mean, I'm just saying. Well, that's where our problem lies. And why we've created this position you're applying for. You see, every morning at 6 o'clock a.m., we send out our updates that gives the machines their current schedules for the day. It tells them what rooms have parties and what times. It also tells you which children to pay the most attention to. It's kind of like a hard reset that brings them back into shape. So what, I just have to make sure to send out the command every day at 6 o'clock or something, or...? Oh, no, that process is fully automated. We just need someone to sit here and make sure that the animatronics don't wander too far around. Wander? What do you mean, wander? When we first got them set up, we used to shut them down each night. At first, this was fine, but after a while, it started causing some weird performance issues. Certain joints and servos started freezing up and would release and snap out of place. We had a maintenance technician almost lose his life to one of those accidents. What happened? Well, he was working on freeing a seized joint in its mouth and, uh, forgot to cut the power to the machine. As soon as he loosened the bolt that was too tight, the jaw slammed shut and took a chunk out of his head. It's amazing how resilient the human body is. I guess we don't really need the frontal lobe after all. The frontal what? That never heard of that. Oh, it's nothing. He is fine. I wouldn't worry about it. Anyways, if you like the job, the position's yours. But you don't even know my background or anything. Nope, I've talked with you and you seem like a perfect candidate. How does 200 cash a night sound? $200? Are you serious? I guess it is a little low. How about 300 a night? How's that sound? Perfect. <laughs> Where do I sign? Oh, there's no paperwork to sign. I'll be paying you directly. The company doesn't really believe in night guards, so I just take it out of petty cash. Normally, I've been sticking around to do it myself, but I just don't have the time anymore, which is why I'm hiring you. Well, the last guests have already left for the day, so if you're available, you could start tonight. Sweet, that works for me. 
Uh, so I just, what, make sure no one steals the robots then? They may look cute and fluffy, but they're almost a thousand pounds of steel and materials. No one is going to try to take them. Your job is pretty much to sit around in the control room and make sure they don't cause any trouble. Okay, so just kind of patrol the building every once in a while or something. No, you shouldn't leave the control room because uh, we have cameras monitoring the whole building. Well, at least most of the rooms. Uh, you see, like I said before, every morning we reset them with new instructions for the day. The problems occur at night, when they enter their free roam mode. To stop their servos from locking up, we allow them to move around freely. However, this uh, free movement uses up a lot of CPU cycles and eventually causes a couple minor memory leaks. This causes some unintended behavior. What kind of unintended behavior? What are you talking about? And these robots, they're super advanced and can pretty much maintain themselves. They're programmed to repair others automatically. But late at night, when their programming gets a little bit messed up, they can't really tell the difference between humans and animatronics. Their corrupt logic might cause them to think that you are just a exoskeleton without its suit and uh, try to stuff you back inside of one. <laughs> now, obviously, you'd never fit, because you'd hit all the cross beams and wiring, but they'd still try. Are you serious? Or are you just messing around with me because I'm the new guy? Well, we've never officially had it happen, but they do begin to act weirder and weirder uh, as the night goes on. Uh, they also seem to act up a bit more when it gets closer to the weekends. Something about... Daylight savings, time, or something, I'm not sure. Anyways, if one of them wanders close to your room, simply close the blast doors and you should be fine. Blast doors? What are they going to do, explode or something? <laughs> it is. I think originally that room was meant to be a vault or something, uh, but it was retrofitted with cameras and control equipment. The only problem is the company who purchased us is trying to save some money at night. So they shut off the power to all non-essential systems. That includes door locks, lighting, and, well, just about everything. But don't worry, we have a battery backup that has more than enough power to keep your room running all night. Uh, well, unless you place a heavy load on our system. So basically, what you're saying is I sit around on battery power with minimal lighting and wait for the nightly reset and that's it? Yep, that's it. Feel free to bring in some reading materials or uh, anything else to help keep you entertained. Now, I pay out every Friday, so if you're still here by then, just swing by my office on the end of your shift and uh, pick up your cash. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for this opportunity. You have no idea how much this means. You won't regret it. Oh, I know I won't. And thank you as well. I'm about to take off. I'll show you where the control room is, and uh, just make sure to chain up the front doors after I leave. We use chains to make sure the animatronics don't accidentally walk out the front door during the night. Come 6 a.m., feel free to unlock the doors and head home. Sounds good. I'll let you know if anything goes wrong. All right. You'll be fine. I'll see you in the morning. Have a good night. You too. All right, there we go. Doors are all chained up, so I guess that means I'm all set for the night. Huh. I guess he wasn't kidding about the power outages. That's interesting. Luckily, I brought my flashlight with me, or else I wouldn't really be able to see anything. It's dark in here. Oh, man, these things really creep me out. Wait a second, weren't there three of them before? I, I swear there was three of them there. You know, maybe I should go check those cameras that he was talking about to see if I can, like, rewind them and see where it went? You know, this place has a lot of rooms. Look at all the cool toys in there. I bet kids would love to get into there. Here it is. I think this is the control room. Uh, so that should be... Ah!